Ryan and Grave Digger. We're back on track, so Ryan, the course is yours. Ready you are, brother. We got the Lozy LMT Grave Digger with a solid headlight and front bumper back guard. Oh, that's the parade lap. I love a good parade lap because I've definitely seen a show or two before. Oh, good save, good save. Right into the bus stack, up and over the crush pad. Oh! Yeah, someone flipping. All right, a minute and 12 seconds left on the clock. You to burn it down and do a full boogie tilt. Ooh. Oh, dude, the bumper put a hole in the driveway. <laughs> I mean, the run's still going. Don't worry about that. Uh, you lost the steering, but you can call it if you want, but you got 52 seconds left on the clock. If you touch it, it's dead. All right, he's calling it with 45 seconds left on the clock. Kellen, Kellen, big son, he's got the lights on. He's running 100% out here today. Track is clear, track is reset, good enough. And we're about to have a good time with this Lozy son of a digger. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, he's back in, so it doesn't cause a rollover. That's a whole trick. Nice stocky action. And true Ryan Anderson style. Flip, there's one rollover. We got a minute 13 left on the clock. There we go, some backflip with a broken four link. Oh, yeah, that's a four link. You, you can still have a good time with 40 seconds left on the clock. Let's see him burn it down and put it in the wall. There we go. That's what we like to see. Oh, that's going to be time with 30 seconds left on the clock. One more time for Pitts on that track. We're really giving that track some help. 4-4 four, four with a 4, that's another 12! Alright, potentially one of the heaviest trucks on the track, so, so this end was flying. You never know what will happen, so... The course is yours. Troy's going to reset that center pad a little bit. Troy, reset that center pad a little bit. There you go. I just want to see you hopping around a little bit. There we go. I'm like, you can do better. There we go. That's a quality crush stack. Thanks, Troy. All right, son of a digger. You got 90 seconds on the clock. Starting at your first hit. He's getting straight in He wants to do a backflip, but he went up and over it the hard way. What's he thinking? He's lining up for something. Oh, uh, reverse? Oh, uh, perhaps difficulties or something's going on. He's trying to get something on that. Is that the second roll? First, all right. We got another roll left, and you got 51 seconds left on the clock. I'm about to get in there. Oh, a double backflip. So that's going to be time with 42 seconds left on the clock.
Track is clear. Time starts on the first hit. All right, we're off. Got a minute 20 left on the clock. Surviving the clock is one of the hardest things of freestyle. Nice, great, give me some nice truck action up, up and over the bus stack. Going big, getting some solid air from one of our newest drivers at the stop today. Oh, carnage up and over, sticking the landing. We got 52 seconds left on the clock. Nice backflip, kicking it around in that little short pit over there. With another backflip. Oh, getting a bad balance here. 20 seconds left on the clock. One more time for our gun gun out here, holding it down. Keep it on the course. Oh, it's 
30 seconds. 30 seconds left. Pablo, turn it up at the full control. Good job, nice and consistent. Not the most ragged at two smiles, but here we go. Look at that slap wheelie. Wow. Still power from the coaster truck. Oh, there it goes. Right inside. We'll probably never do that again, would we? How much time? We have 10 seconds left. 5 seconds. 4, 3, 2, 1. And that's time. Cluster truck, right? That was awful. <laughs> All right, Jacob, this kid, he's got skills, he's got rear steer, and most importantly, good attitude, and looks like a fresh body on this rig. All right, and we're off. Jacob Ramlin has the course. I think it sounds heavy out there. Landing out. Nice. Put it on the tailgate, bring it back. That's very con a very contemporary way to hit that, but yeah, cool, nice. A little bit of bicycle action. Oh, we almost went into the neighbor's shop again, going through that drywall over there. Nice, ragged edge and rear steer kicking out. Up and over that hit. We got 60 seconds left, Jacob. Up. Oh, huge save, bringing that rear steer right around. But Jacob's got a tall order to fill. What can you do, folks, with 47 seconds? Now 45 seconds left on the clock. Nice quick backflip, slinging around, bumping the walls. Oh, nice. A little bit of comment sidewall action. Nice floating backflip. Drifting around. Up and the wall, back over. Huge save. Man, this thing has a magnet to the wall. 24 seconds left, Jacob. Really out there crushing it around for the title belt. Nice, new steer action on the nose, bring it back, bring it back, 15 seconds, that's a dead run. One more time for Jacob and your solid axle monster truck freestyle class. Here at the second round of the Colorado RC Monster Truck Challenge. So, the way the standings is going to go for the one, two, and three spots, we have myself and Long here bringing in third place with 24 points, Troy with bugging out with 26 points, and your winner for the day, Kyle at Bigfoot number 14 with a 27 with one of the cleanest rounds I've ever seen for a solid acid monster truck. Kyle, bring that beautiful truck and come on over. We're back here on the winner's circle again. Uh, Big Foot 14, uh, taking home a freestyle win today. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? It got a little wild out there today. Oh, yeah, yeah. It got a little wild. I mean, that's what freestyle is. Get a little wild, but keep under control. Big air always does well. And that's what I went for. Awesome. Well, you did an excellent job today, my friend. Uh, took everybody out, took out the big dogs, Hobbo and myself. Uh, so let's see you at the next round, round three. Absolutely. All right, we'll see you around, Kyle. Great job. Thank you. Get this bracket reset real quick. And we're good there. All right, so we only have five. All right, so clock starts on the first hit. Jonah, yeah. snap off. The camera's ready. Camera's ready, Jesse. Yeah. Okay. All right, you're good to go, Michael. Right and we're on the clock. Snap off, track the stampede. Oh, oh, and flip. And pause that right there. Minute and 20 left. Consistency is key out here for freestyle. The clock is your biggest factor. All right, we are back on the clock. Snap on. Going for the beer and taking a tumble. And that's going to be time. A minute and 12 seconds left. Monster taxi broke. Okay, 
Yeah, I get this. Okay, that's a very good word. You mean still? <laughs> yeah, I think it's been perpetually broken right. for a year and a half. <laughs> Alright, my friends. You know the drill. The clock starts on your first hit. And big rig. I think it's quiet. Alright, we are on the clock. I think Bailey makes a sound. Where is he headed? To the back foot. Whoa! Lizzie pull it. And a uh, minute 17 left. One roll left on your run. Alright, back on the clock. Half a back foot. Keeping it rolling. And. And. Time. One minute and 10 seconds left. Three, three. Three, another nine. On deck will be Mike with the big hit summit. All right, we've got about ten minutes left, you guys. So. Tracks is equipped, Summit Bigfoot was able to take it all the way home. And tell me a little bit about what went into it, along with the tiebreaker to determine why you came out the winner in today's Open Class Freestyle. So I tried, just tried to stay consistent out there, uh, drove it, uh, and with the tiebreaker rules, it was uh, when it came down to four way ties, just whoever lasted longer. Uh, I had the longer time, so I took the win overall. That's awesome, Michael. Looking forward to seeing this thing in the rest of the open classes here at Troy's Hobbies. 
for the rest of the season. So we'll see you at the next one coming soon.